if me theater chose me rather than me cho choosing it, because mm -hmm. by age four I already knew mm -hmm. that uh, I needed to do something of this sort. Oh, okay. And somehow I just found that my journey and my, uh, my everything just led towards mm -hmm. the point that I'm at at the moment. You mm -hmm. know, I would look at Cindy Loper mm -hmm. on television. <laughs> know that I'd say I want to be Cindy Lowe. My mom, my mom has stories where I would cry because I wanted to be. And for some reason, this this means that this thing that was was within me, inside me, was already yearning mm -hmm. to do something. And then, obviously, later it then changed, mm -hmm. to, and I got to understand that it was just it's a calling, a bigger calling. Mm -hmm. It's not just for the television for, for being yes. famous or anything like that, but it's about to spread whatever that is within me, mm -hmm. you know, for me to share it with the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my elder brother always says that, he says, oh, so, you know, from when you were like in kindergarten or whatever it is, mm -hmm. apparently there was a, there was an event, mm -hmm. a cultural thing, mm -hmm. and I was dressed in beads and things, no. and traditional clothes mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And it was actually their school thing, uh, but I was there, uh, cause, and, and apparently I, I took over the show. He always says, like, oh, so you were singing and dancing and everything was clapping, <laughs> and you were just doing your thing. And I'm like, really? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's it's just been a part of me. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, when I was um, sure, when I was six, I got cast in my first ad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, from then onwards, and it's been over thirty years, you know, of, of trying to harness this. Mm -hmm. um, but it's 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 not even about performing. It is sharing my soul. Mm -hmm. That that's what this journey for me is. It's, it's sharing. Mm. Stories, what are the stories? Mm. Yeah. Have you ever played a character that, say, like you felt like you couldn't relate to, or it took a long time to kind of get into that character, <laughs> <laughs> or does it just come naturally? No, no nothing comes naturally, um, especially because as an actor uh, with training, you, you learn the theory about assuming a role, mm -hmm. you know, and. Um, with every role that I've portrayed or that, that we portray as, as, as actors, uh, we try and lose ourselves. Mm -hmm. So it is always a challenge. It's, it's always, um, you always have to physically lose this, which is you, and assume a different persona, physically, mentally, and wholeheartedly. You know? And fortunately, a script helps. Yeah. Um, but that's just part of the journey, yes. you know, that you physically have to get into mm -hmm. it. Um, I haven't, I had not done a straight play in many, many years. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got to do And the Girls in the Sunday Dresses. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, I remember when I went to audition, um, I thought, oh, I liked the other character. But I was like, no, I want to try the other one. <laughs> so, and, and when we were doing callbacks, um, they made you swap as well. Yeah. They made us swap uh, with whoever is that we were auditioning with. So you went in there with the content of the character that you've yeah. planned. Wow. And then and they're like, okay, <laughs> tell me change the yeah. oh. around, you know, and then you get to see things from a different perspective, mm -hmm. you know. So um, not having done theatre in a very long time mm -hmm. um, and then getting to do this play mm -hmm. um, was a huge, giant step for me because I'd been playing television roles and it's so completely different from this yeah. woman yeah. that I play. So uh, I physically had to redo a lot of things, relearn a whole lot of different, mm -hmm. uh, different things, mm -hmm. you know, and just not care what I look like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and fully make a, a representer, because you know, that's the yeah. most important thing. It's, it's, um, mine has always been that whatever character that I portray, it must be so believable to the audience. Even if at times when you've been doing it for such a long time, you forget, you know, mm -hmm. but when people see it, it's, it should take them on that journey, 